Unfortunately, we are a nation divided in terms of our political views. This is nothing new. We all know this. And it is in large part because of the rhetoric that we hear from the mainstream media and most of the Democrats. Just the other day, Barack Obama had the audacity to say, I don't understand how we got so toxic in America. Meanwhile, we have Kamala Harris stating that Donald Trump is pretty much Hitler. And this is nothing new. The Democrats have been calling Donald Trump literally Hitler for eight years at this point. And this increasingly toxic language is the reason why there have been at least two to three attempts on his life, plus the immense anger and toxicity that we hear from people. So let's take a look at this clip, but before we get into things, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I, I, I don't understand how we got so toxic and just so divided and so bitter. And I he said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. He wants a military that is loyal to him. He wants a military who will be loyal to him personally, one that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States. In just the past week, Donald Trump has repeatedly called his fellow Americans the enemy from within, and even said that he would use the United States military to go after American citizens. You know, this kind of rhetoric really upsets me. And when I worked for the Democrat Party, this was actually one of the biggest turnoffs for me. The intense hatred towards Donald Trump, it, the irrational hatred. You know, it's one thing to critique somebody because of a policy or maybe because of the things that they say, but to literally claim that he is Hitler, to say that he's going to weaponize the military, I mean, this is just asinine, toxic, disgusting behavior. Donald Trump was literally the president for four years. Did he ever turn the military against our own people? No. Think about America right now. We are literally on a worse path now than we were when Donald Trump was in office. If anything, the Democrat Party is the party that is detrimental to America. And that's just an objective fact. Take a look around. Look at where we are in America. When Donald Trump was in office, things were better from so many different standpoints, whether it be the economy or the immigration policies that we have in place. Peace across the globe. I mean, for a guy who's allegedly Hitler, let me show you this really quick. For a guy who's allegedly Hitler, he has shown the most support towards Israel and the Jewish people than literally any other president before. He helped sign the Abraham Accords. Here's another image. Trumpites. I mean, look at this. The people of Israel love him. And I will say from firsthand accounts that I've heard, I used to be very close with a Jewish family. I used to date a girl who was Jewish. And they had family over in Israel. And the people over there, based on their accounts, first-hand accounts, absolutely love Donald Trump for help bringing peace and prosperity to the Middle East. They want Donald Trump in office, the people of Israel, the Jewish people. So for a guy who's literally Hitler, doesn't that seem a little weird to be historically the most supportive of the Jewish people? Despite the fact that a large portion of Jewish people in America still will likely be voting Democrat. I mean, I just think that that's absolutely insane. The rhetoric from the Democrat Party is legitimately sickening. And look, I get it. The people on the right, people in the Republican Party, there are people that use rhetoric and language that I also don't approve of. But you don't see it coming from most of the mainstream, right? There's really no mainstream right wing news outlets. But from people that are right wing podcasters, you don't hear the kind of rhetoric and language use that you hear from people on the left. I mean, the people on the left are legitimately brainwashed and convinced that Donald Trump is Hitler, is the most evil man on the planet, but he's not. And this blind hatred causes them to think that no matter how terrible the policies are the Democrats propose, no matter how terrible their leadership skills are, no matter how awful of a candidate Kamala Harris actually is, they're not going to vote for Trump. There are people who are so blindly hateful of him. They've been spoon fed the propaganda. They're drinking the Kool-Aid. They cannot actually, there's no more logic 
They can't come to a logical conclusion regarding what will legitimately be best for the nation because all they see is red. And it's just legitimately sad because like I said, I work for the Democrat Party and it is not going to be beneficial for America, in my opinion, in the long run to continue down the current path that the Democrat leaders have put in place. The policies that they advocate for are detrimental, whether it be the economy, whether it be immigration, whether it be the culture, no matter what you want to look at, a foreign policy, no matter how you want to look at these things. Think about where we are now. Think about where we were back when Trump was in office in 2018. Things were much better in America and across the globe when Trump was in office, and we need to get back to that. The Democrats have gone way too far off the ledge, and it's time to vote Trump. Shameless plug, you can get shirts, sweatshirts, mugs in my store below. Spread the good word. We need to get out and vote. Make sure you're registered to vote on that. Now, there's a link to register to vote also in the description below. Might be too late depending on where you live. Might not be. Depends where you live. Make sure you have a plan to vote. Vote early. It's better to get ahead of these things. Most likely, you can already vote depending on where you live. So make sure you get out and you vote for Donald Trump. Anyways, why don't you let me know down in the comments. Have you voted yet? Do you got a plan to vote? I'd love to hear about it. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.